God is going to bring forth President Trump back quickly, supernaturally and amazing way. And God is going to do a greater things. You know, like when he President Trump comes into the seat, uh, the war will end very quickly. I strongly believe because uh, God has given a leadership anointing. So what's lacking in this nation today is the leadership, lack of leadership. And that is the only thing lacking. So we need um, the leader to come channelize so that the nation will prosper, keep God first and bring God first and 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 every woke agenda, enemy schemes and the patterns needs to be completely be reversed in the name of Jesus. God is going to do extraordinary things and powerful things. God is going to bring forth peace for America in regards to Russia. Yesterday or a day back, two days back, there was an American drone which is nearly $32 million and it was flying on the Black Sea in the international waters and right above this specific U.S. drone. This is a not a Russian airspace. It's an international airspace. But then there are two Russian air jets. They came on top of this drone, flew, flew over the drone. And then we see that this one of the Russian jet um, dumped the um, fuel and also like uh, literally uh, it really kind of like went in very close to the drone and resulted in fire. And uh, one of the wings uh, kind of like failed and then it really crashed into the Black Sea. So no one has retrieved this drone yet. This is like $32 million directly, a direct asset of America is right now under the Black Sea and Russia is going to go and retrieve it because it's international waters, common for um, anyone to go and retrieve. So this is really one of the first incident where there was a direct involvement between America and Russia where American asset was lost and the loss was $32 million. But God told me to prophesy that there needs to be a de-escalation in this whole situation. There needs to be peace and there needs to be um, so much of stillness, calmness, quietness because there are people who are escalating the situation to bring it to a war. Yes, $32 million is very, very high, but it is not a direct attack or like direct um, airstrike. It's an unprofessional or like in other words, it is not a, a proper way of conducting um, this kind of like um, interaction on the airspace. That's what like in the military terms, they are saying that this is like a unprofessional way how this both came in contact very close and things and mishap. It's an unintentional incident. But either way, doesn't matter whatever the reason behind it. God is going to bring forth peace in this nation powerfully. This is going to be an amazing, powerful turnaround. And the Lord is going to raise up our leaders to pursue peace and um, call for the talk, diplomatic talk or like talk in the uh, for negotiation, because that is the real leader. A real leader is the one who bring peace. Blessed are the peacemakers. Bible says God wants us to be the peacemakers and especially with two nuclear powers like Russia and America. And um, any nuclear war cannot be won by any nation because there is nobody there remaining to have that victory. So this is not something we can fight using the uh, um, bombs and things. Russia dropped a 1500 kilogram, which is several I mean, about uh, like thousand pound down. And it's really interesting to see that this is the biggest bomb that they have dropped uh, on the Ukraine. So this war is getting intense because Russia probably ran out of all their uh, small ammunition. But now they are going to the bigger ammunition, which is like 1500 um, kilogram of uh, a bomb was dropped. Never happened in the last one year. So this is something we need to pray and prophesy. On the other side, Zelensky is really uh, asking the American support to supply the more ammunition, to supply in every possible way we can. And um, this also really, you know, like uh, end of the day, America is pulled and dragged into the war um, knowingly or unknowingly. Yes, we pray for Ukraine. We pray and stand for the people of Ukraine. And we pray for peace in Russia. Even many, many soldiers are died in Russia, as we know. So God wants to bring peace on both sides. And uh, But at the end of this, like we see that America has been pulled into to this and 32 million has been lost directly that's the key important thing directly and also like more uh, unending support is going on so um this is really interesting for the whole russia's um military spending we spent that much to support ukraine imagine so the whole year's russia's spending not just for ukraine so russia has other 
budgets as well to defend their uh, military and things so whatever the russia spent for the whole year us spent that much amount for ukraine alone um but still it is not enough so we need to pray we need to pray that you know like uh, god to end all this unending supply while we see here in this nation we see that the federal regulators they closed the new york signature bank this is also the second bank first bank is the svb the silicon valley bank was closed and now the um, another bank called as a signature bank uh, and we see that in the credit suzy which is um, uh, one of the swiss bank um, financial firm biggest bank firm and uh, they all of a sudden um, we see that like within a short period of time the stock came down 96 percentage down um, over a very short period of season so many things are happening overall it's not just the uh, in america alone internationally banking sector or in collapse or like there are shaking has begun in a deeper way beyond silicon valley bank or beyond signature bank and beyond this credit um, swiss uh, bank what's more important is god is going to bring forth the complete transformation and restoration um god is going to end all this chaos and panic and i even right now prophesy each one of you watching this let all of your assets and your belongings be protected and safe god and even the every uh, citizen here in this nation america and all over the world be protected safe god and may god bring a amazing breakthrough deliverance and supernatural turnaround let the war that is really burning and burning and and uh, so just imagine the climate crisis those people who fight for climate crisis but we are seeing that 100 uh, 1500 kg of bomb has been like dropped um in in just one bomb there are so, so many bombs the uh, russia has and the point is this so this is an unending war without a solution um so this needs to end and and this is the time and the season for us to raise above and prophesy as the sons of god da- daughters of god to raise above prophesy and uh, this is really important a uh, few days back i released a prophecy prophecy concerning kevin mccarthy and prayed for him in this um, prayer marathon how many of you remember so it's really amazing that he was invited by um, zelensky and um, uh, ukraine but he declined to go and that is really a bold move not just go by the wave or not go by uh, what others think just go by what is good for the country what is really important for the country and uh, this needs to happen so we have to support ukraine but not really really in the millet not really with the endless money but with the diplomatic talk and bringing peace and also bringing some amazing like uh, accountability and clarity clearance so that there needs to be some order and that is what god is also willing to happen and god is raising leaders like kevin mccarthy to stand up and and look for what has been done and how it has been done why it has been done and uh, what is the end result what is the solution and um, those are all the things very important for the nation because um when you support a nation you also need to uh think about in what way it is impacting the current nation that you are living in like for example if america is supporting ukraine then america need to see uh how this is going to impact the citizens of this nation in recent uh, time we see that even the america is helping and supporting the pension supply that's a scarcity in pension supply in ukraine and there is a in there is there is a support or aid came from our nation to ukraine just imagine while many many people are living in homeless and so many uh, tough situations here in this nation but america is really concerned about the the pension schemes there in ukraine so what we are involving in if if the leaders of this nation show that much love for this nation there is nothing wrong in showing the love for ukraine but if there is a equal love for the this nation as well that will be best that is really that's what really an amazing revival in the political realm so that needs to happen irrespective of uh, which who which uh, i mean like which background the the politician are as long as they keep god first and the country a uh, second that uh, that's means like next to god that's what i mean uh it is going to be powerful that's all we need we need people so the glorious things marvelous things how many of you know that israel this is one of the very good news to finish this with is israel and uh, us they launch a joint air force drill 
So uh, this has the simulation of uh, uh, you know like uh, to go after the Iran's threat. So so this is really uh, one of the very very productive move because like as we see that in the recent years like uh, Iran is moving their uh, warship uh, to Brazil and uh, they are really doing other um, uh, you know like enriching uranium to up to 85 percentage they have done very close to making their bomb. So this is the very very important strategic. Uh, um, connection i thank god for what god is doing um so in this time and the crisis there is a um, preparation and there is a, um, a readiness that is really going on this is really very very important to focus on rather than uh, pouring out on this uh, unending ukraine and russian war uh, without proper strategy strategy needs to happen bombs and um, nuclear weapons are not the solution and god is going to do extraordinary things even right now i plead the blood of jesus upon all these leaders upon putin upon zelensky upon the, this american nation leaders and um, uh, house of representatives senators and everyone i plead the blood of jesus for a supernatural oneness unity understanding let the american people wake up to the truth and uh, realize what is happening and uh, not blindly believe in everything they watch and here on the tv but rather they discern and understand hallelujah may god bring for the supernatural turn around and uh, you know like uh, the whole thing is going on because of the nato um, you know like alliance but now we see that like uh, america's pending and pouring out like anything unending as long as it takes so these are all the things that we are seeing so that needs to be an end point and that needs to be a uh, target that needs to we are not we are hit we are we are really trying to hit the moving target which is not going to happen i pray that president trump come and um, you know like stabilize the target and then hit the target in the right way and then bring forth the peace and restoration that's what a powerful nation should be doing and uh, god is going to bring forth such leaders to this nation and uh, completely bring forth an amazing awakening and quickening for the people hallelujah the lord is going to bring forth revival and restoration greater things are yet to come powerful things are yet to come no weapon formed against this nation shall prosper and god bless each one of you thank you jesus we praise you father god hallelujah thank you glorious jesus for your deposit of your anointing thank you father god for your purpose your prophecies are being fulfilled last year god told about the bank being fall and uh, the same things are are happening and God told president trump will come back that's a prophecy for the edification for exhortation for encouragement hallelujah god is a good god and god is going to do extraordinary things the unending war is going to end every aggression of iran will end in jesus name god is going to bring forth a super